What's up, everybody? We are on time this time with something special. We got a uh, guest, um, special guest, Erin here. Hi. Uh, I'm just playing. <laughs> she been here, but anyways, uh, we got a little something that we haven't done, but we have done, kind of lined up. Uh, unless y'all vote uh, and want to pull with the Camaro floor, but. Hi. Hi, guys. She, 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 she's turning up everything. Making it loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, I just I figured I'd get all happy for a minute. <laughs> With just me watching. Uh, yeah. <laughs> With just Aaron they're watching. Not, they're not used to us being on time. Yeah. Everybody's waiting 10 minutes later. <laughs> they're like, oh, we got we can go to the bathroom. We can make a sandwich. Y'all, the, the shop's going to be a little sad this week, kind of. There's... there's has taken the entire oh, week off. I'm glad Gogo's here so you can see my uh, <laughs> my title. title. <laughs> hey Gogo. <laughs> I'll de I'll definitely fix it. Well, we got six people already. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, Doing me, good. the other tablet, the computer, and Gogo. No, no. No, I'm not on. I usually do uh, the desktop. I'll have May May watching. <laughs> yeah. So, but. We was just talking about, um, yeah. We are feeling, feeling better. Thank you. I don't have the cough. Feeling a lot better. Still stressed and missing my hair, but. Yeah. Uh, and I have, it's like harder for me to get up in the mornings. I was doing really good. Like get up with, like as soon as Juby would shut the door, I'm up getting the dogs taken care of, out the door to go to the gym and then come to work and make it early. And this week I just been like, mm -mm, I ain't doing it. What's up, AR? What's up, Ty? Nate Jackson in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Nate, 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 dog. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick Johnson. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick. Uh, by the way, if anybody uh hasn't subscribed to Go Go's Garage, Big Go Do We, need to go check him out. Also, AR Garage, but I do not know how. I can never, I was talking about it this morning to Aaron, of how I would ever thank Gogo for everything he's done yeah. for me. Um, he's like totally revamped the whole YouTube channel. It's beautiful. Uh, he has like literally almost fixed all the, the videos and like it looks professional. Yeah. But, Which is outside of our realm. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just like uh, shoot and go. Uh, and hey, Mike and Mary. Hey, Wes. Rod by Designs on. Thomas Foltz. Charlie. What's up, guys? Yeah, what's up, everybody? Wes, Thomas Foltz. I Charlie, love when y'all comment so Design. we actually know y'all are here. Mike and Mary. Yeah. That's, that was, Mary said, both your hair looks great. Oh, girl, you like my hair, too. Thank you. Mine's a little, <laughs> I better not show it. Somebody might not want Charlie their car. Charlie will tell you to put a hat on. Somebody might not want their car <laughs> built by somebody with a, a man bun. Oh, man. I got to, I had to fix it anyways. I'm to, not concerned with what anybody thinks negatively about our appearance. It's about your heart and your talent, and we're here to sell service, not glamour shots. Uh, yeah, I know, I know it takes a lot of time, Gogo, -Go, and you've, like, fixed, like, I looked at them again this morning, and, like, you fixed, like, near about all of them, and I love it. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's definitely, uh... It's like a whole new channel. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it actually makes me want to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Mary said I need to put some purple in yours. Some purple? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to do that. Uh, Aaron kind of, it was a little mix-up. Uh, she kind of signed me up for some weave. Dreadlocks. Dreadlocks, Bring whatever. In dreadlocks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she, she, she was messaging this person about getting some, and they were giving it to her, and she all she had to do was take pictures and stuff, kind of like the builds. Uh, and... The girl stopped messaging, so she messaged from mine to see if she would respond to mine to see if it was kind of like a scam. So I accidentally got him signed so up. So she accidentally got me signed up, and then the girl was like, 
check my Instagram out and all and my long hair and stuff and she's like oh it's awesome you take good pictures and I was like yeah I guess I can put some in and take some pictures so I still got I got enough hair I think yeah, that I can still do it you know, so I, I could probably braid them in as long as you got three inches of hair I could get it in there because that's so, not how long it is back here on me. Like, one day I might come in with dreads. <laughs> I look like uh. Next Tech Talk Tuesday, we'll both look Rasta. Uh, <laughs> what's the guy, Mike? Um, from, from the uh, Canadian yeah, car the, show. Yeah, the Canadian guy. Um, I think his name's Mike. Yeah, when I had all the blonde and gray Rust Valley. Rust, Rust Valley. Yeah, that's what you, he said. I had my glasses on one day, and he's like, you look like Mike from Rust Valley. What does that mean? Uh. Show. Oh, yeah. Well, it was asking it must have. It, it tried to lock you out, Go Go. Uh -uh. When you put on there like and subscribe, <laughs> I think it was thinking you were some kind of spam or something. No, and it's. It, I think it's because he's an admin and he's asking for people to like and subscribe. In a, I don't know. Sometimes it does it to me. On, uh, if I'm an admin to something, it doesn't let. Oh, whatever. I don't know. I don't know enough well, about YouTube. Well, I accepted it for you. <laughs> so we got 16 people on, and. We're like 706. Haven't seen my dad, but the show must go on. Dang it, Ken. Uh, haven't seen my brother in a while on here. Dang it, Blue. Uh, he moved into a new house and yeah. has they haven't no had, service. They haven't got the Wi-Fi hooked up at their new place, and it's kind of out there. Like They get to stare at bullfrogs croaking in the backyard next to the pond, which is beautiful, but absolutely no service until they get their Wi-Fi set up. So... Uh, News in the shop. I don't know. Um, how was everybody's weekend? First, uh, <laughs> my mom was busy as usual, and but the stuff going on in the shop. I got the car up, the Camaro back here to do the wheel tubbing uh, for the tub kit. Um, I'm kind of thinking on not doing the wheel tub kits. Uh, I pretty much made up my mind not to uh, because of the amount of time and effort it's going to take to put into it to be able to market them and all that. So being as though I did say a, a thousand subscribers and I would give away a tub kit, I already said I would give it away. So I'm going to do this one. Sticking to your word on that. I'm uh, sticking to my <laughs> word on it. I am going to tub his car for him. But I just don't think I'm going to market mine. Um, if you're a friend or something and you, and you need a tub kit and you want mine, I'm still going to shoot the instructions and all that. I'll probably be, be willing to sell it to you, but I'm not going to market it out there and try to push it. Because I just don't know if little old me can handle it. Because I can't even handle my youtube channel doing the stuff i need to do because i have so much stuff going on and i mean it's just so stressful i'm hoping that once this galaxy's done the stress level will go down it will. and i don't know and i'd actually talked about stopping the youtube channel i hate to because everything that go goes done for it uh but i'm not i haven't come to a 100 percent on that yet we had a little powwow today and just kind of discussed things that are going to be beneficial to us mentally, physically, financially, what's going to benefit the shop, which includes me, Juby, Craig, our builders. And we're just trying to make, take all of that information and make the best decisions. And sometimes that's not going to make everybody happy, but we're, we're still going to have the mini tubs available. We're just not going to push them and, you know, because if he sells one, I have to, he's got to box it up. Then I have to take it to the post office and get it sent out. That doesn't sound like a lot, but I don't, I don't think you guys realize what goes on in a day in the shop. <laughs> and I have to go to AMD and pick up the, the wheelhouse, wheelhouse yeah, to go yeah. with the tub kit. And it's just something that I can't afford to keep on hand. I can't afford to have ten sets of wheel ten houses sets of wheelhouses on standby at any time because I don't have the money for that. Um, and we don't do shipping out of here 
if we did shipping and stuff out of here, if we actually sold parts from out of here and we had a shipping contract type thing, it would probably be a little bit easier, yeah. but I really don't now. Um, or if we had some option to like drop ship, which we talked about, but there's, there's a lot that goes into that too. Having somebody that'll pick it up and commit to drop shipping for you, you, you lose a little bit and it just, it's, it's just not what we're gonna bang a drum on right now. Yeah. So same thing look, with the YouTube channel is if we do take a hiatus, it will not be a permanent thing. And he, like he said, he's not, he's not, I'm going to be here when he's here. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't a hundred percent on the, the, the YouTube don't really take up much of my time. It's taking up a little bit of time now. And you know, it don't make me no money, which they actually sent me a thing saying that I could monetize it now because I've had over 4,000 watch, watch hours or whatever. So it could make money. I, I don't think it's a lot. I don't, it's, it, no. it's probably pennies. Um, YouTubers that make enough money to survive on YouTube literally live on YouTube and he does And not I cannot money. live on YouTube because I can't, like I say, GoGo's doing everything on the channel right now, <laughs> uh, naming and, and setting up the videos. So, like I said, I, I don't want to go nowhere. I love you guys, and it's not 100% yet. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'll probably stick with it. Mary, uh, Mary said we could Zoom call once a month. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, you know, think on it more, pray on it, and see. Uh, but I, I think making it through the next 70 days, uh and getting this galaxy done and out of my life will be uh what's the first two really after SEMA? and <laughs> um so that's going on but anyways i'm going to tub this car i had to get i had to check with him because i was going to have to remove his exhaust uh from where it's at the way it's routed it's going to have to get moved uh to put the the shock bar relocation in there so I wanted to check with him about removing it, and he said if it will unbolt and come out, then he's good with it because he bought it. It was a, a big block exhaust kit. So he's proud of it. He loves his car. Like I say, uh, I'm still going to do it. I did get um, hot rod fuel hoses. Mm -hmm. uh, are sponsoring the Galaxy on the fuel line, fuel system. So that's a plus. Uh, Joey at Lanier Powder Coating called me today and sent me some pictures. He has the dash in red. Oh, it's he's, so pretty. He's got uh, all the dash ready because I told him I needed that first so I could go ahead and start doing the wiring on it and get it all wired up to go in when the car comes back from paint. Hopefully I'll be picking the car up or picking the frame up from the paint shop this weekend, not 100%. I have the Detroit steel wheels, the front ones, the 18 by eights, and the beauty rings and something else. It said three boxes. Well, that would be beauty rings and then two rim boxes. Yeah. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow. Also, we have the Kugel. Um, <laughs> that was a crappy drum roll, sorry. <laughs> Kugel exhaust are coming tomorrow as well from Kugel. Uh, Kugel uh, Concept, Kugel Performance. Kugel Concepts, Kugel Customs. Kugel. Something. Awesome guy, the guy there, uh, I guess that owns it and runs it is Joe. Uh, the guy is awesome. Yeah, super, super easy to um, talk to. Let's see. Kugel. And he's gonna send some stickers. That's all I really just oh, it's, ask everybody. It's Google Components, components with a K. Yeah. So y'all should check it, check them out. Uh, I think they do like not only exhaust, but they do like frame stuff too, like A arms and stuff. So he is sponsoring the factory style FE 427 manifolds. They're from what I hear, they're made off of the same uh out of the same dies that they made the originals out of for the performance motors and he's 
tuned them in and honed them and like they're 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 basically headers but they're cast and they look awesome and i think they're gonna look great in there we're really excited about that tomorrow's gonna be a big shipping day here we got some neat stuff coming mm -hmm. in then i guess if juby's got time he'll do some unboxing unveiling videos yeah so wes says hope i can keep the channel i i'm i'm pretty sure i am it's just it's it's not really taking a lot of my time it's just i feel like i'm neglecting it and i have somebody else doing stuff for me which i don't have them doing it they offered go go did awesome guy let's see you said you were picking here. up the uh frame is the car painted yet the car's not painted they have the body work it might be by the time i pick it up might be in primer but i know they were working on all getting the gaps or getting the uh door profiled with the front fenders so that they can take the front fenders and stuff off and i'm going to carry them the jig they're going to put the body on the jig and then hang all the fenders and stuff to do the body work and all them to paint and i'm going to bring the frame back so i can finish out the four link i can go ahead and route the uh the fuel lines route the brake lines uh put on the uh a arms get everything set up mock up the motor then tear it all back apart get it to joey to powder coat he'll powder if i carry it to him on a friday morning he'll have it to me by friday at lunch so he is quick and awesome so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna bring it back now i'm gonna i'm gonna throw all that back together put the wheels everything on it and i'm gonna wait on the body when the body comes we'll set the body on it throw the dash in throw everything back on and start putting windows in interior or get it to interior whatever if i find interior uh so That's still an unchecked box but yeah uh, so, any updates on the motor i haven't got any updates on the motor my my brother should be letting me know something on it he did say that the cam they had that was with it um wasn't it was a good cam but they he said that the the it's at a race shop he said that the guy that's building it said that the cam would kind of starve it or or i don't know how to put it 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 would take away horsepower it was in other words it was so restricting that, yeah. even though not trying to but you know put out a lot of horsepower um he's saying that uh he's sending the cam to a cam shop they don't have uh some blanks but the the shop said with the one he's got this with it they can regrind it and it will help it tremendously he's saying about 750 horsepower so but El has joined hi yes let's thanks see. for joining Gogo -Go says you need to tell Lanier Powder Coating that you need a better logo for the YouTube thumbnail. I need a logo for the rendering uh, yeah. also, yeah. and I got some for the rest of them. I was like, I was wondering where Gogo -Go got all these logos. I'm like, man, he's got logos everywhere. I was looking at the side panel on oh. the car that's finished. But anyways, we're 718 in, and we haven't even started working, so... I guess uh you haven't even said what you're doing today well um i don't know what i'm doing uh what, yeah uh, uh, charlie uh. said we missed him. yeah yeah we we mentioned him last weekend i believe or last tuesday oh yeah if y'all miss a week we are gonna talk about it <laughs> there's blue oh there he is <laughs> we, we just talked about yep. you we 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 was asking i don't know if it was a comment ears were burning or if Erin just brought it up but she was asking about we were talking about the galaxy and she asked about updates on the motor mm -hmm. um i was thinking there was something else that happened with it but i don't know but anyways we can go over here and work and we can still talk because i can multitask sometimes <laughs> uh I haven't got new gloves yet. 
I do got some. I was going to actually put them on so nobody could say anything because uh, these are pretty rough, but I didn't want to be working on a car that I am really, really good at with new gloves. It'd be like new, new boot goofing. This would be new glove goofing. And I didn't want to mess up. I wanted to show y'all how pro I was and how quick and fast I could move. I'm so fantastic. I can wear holy pants and holy gloves. Is that what you're saying? I'm yeah, just, I'm going. messing with y'all. Y'all, he's but, got holy draws too. He won't let me buy him new clothes. So, Aaron's going to grab the camera. We're going to go back here because I have a 69 Camaro that is only basically getting quarter panels. This is like the first, except for when I did the... Camaro for to test fit the premium quarter panels it got nothing but quarter panels so we got this Camaro in it's getting nothing but quarter panels and it's getting a roof skin so last night it's kind of we'll exciting go over here. it's a change from the norm where we typically have to break the whole car down this one didn't even have to go to blast so this is it it's a pretty solid car um last night aaron stayed with me after work i think we stayed till about seven yeah. so i basically knocked the quarter off on one side and did a little video on it showing how i removed the quarter panel so that video will get uploaded soon as go go fixes it i'm just playing <laughs> uh but it'll get uploaded soon on how to remove a quarter panel and leave everything still attached uh i'm thinking this one might end up getting wheelhouses I, that ain't a rot a rust spot right there i hit it with i hit it yeah y'all um, because a uh if but you that's a rust spot but if you've seen the quarter panel before i pulled it off and what was happening you would know why i hit it uh there was like two or three layers in here uh where they had skinned over skinned over something i don't know it was it was crazy but i ended up hitting it and i usually don't boo-boo but uh i can knock it out and weld that it'll be fine but what kills it is under here they have a some kind of patch down here i don't know where erin is she's she's trying up there to keep on, up with comments but there's some kind of patch uh looks pretty good because if you look inside the wheelhouse you can see that it looks nice and if you went out to buy this car and you got under here and looked and they're like man the wheelhouse is clean it looks good there ain't no rust in this and then for some reason down the road you decide that you're just going to do a quarter panel and you bring it to us or you decide to do it yourself and you knock the quarter panel off and you find this you're opened up a whole another bag. You're here, you might as well fix it. Uh, I'm gonna, the guy already quoted in his quote four wheelhouses, but I was gonna save them if, if I could. And this one here is not gonna be able to be saved. Uh, so I'm gonna cut that one out, but I ain't gonna do that one tonight. Uh, he also wanted deck filler. I saved quarter panels and roof, and now I'm wheelhouses and deck filler uh deck filler looks good i'm gonna have aaron contact him tomorrow to see if he wants to do the deck filler because the deck filler looks great i've looked inside of it i've sanded on it in a few spots to see if it's any rust though i took out the seam sealer in the back around the gutters don't really see no rust rot anything like that so i'm going to try and tell him to keep it don't know though <laughs> um, he might be thinking that he wants to change it because I stuck the deck lid up here uh, but when you shut it the deck lid is lower than the deck filler so he might be thinking that there's something wrong with it uh, but that ain't it it's where they welded this because they somebody mini tubbed it and when they mini tubbed it they just welded this thing in where it was at and didn't work it back and forth to get the deck lid at the proper height so i'm gonna have to bust that loose and move it back and forth but i ain't gonna do that yet until i get the quarter panels on it and then i can check it because when i go to clamping everything there's a possibility that 
the uh it might pull down so at the end i'll fix all that um your dad has joined the party i left this here like i say it's getting a roof but on my video i talk about this is how i cut it i cut it about a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch below the lip uh, where it folds up that way when i fit my quarter panel on here it'll lap over it and then i usually trim my quarter panel right on the other side of that bend down about an eighth of an inch and i lay it up here and when i get the quarter panel fit then i come back and i cut with my ziz wheel straight in through both of them and then i remove that piece out and then i butt weld all that together to the roof but i wanted to make a video showing how i uh get the gutter out um cleaning off here cleaning off this area wheelhouse the door jam area how to remove it what tools i use to do it and left these probably wouldn't be a bad idea i'll find out here in a minute <coughs> uh because i've never really left these on because i've never really done a car like this except for the prototype when i did the prototype uh but i show i how to get the metal out from in here and i peeled it right here and folded that back once i get the quarter in there i'll hammer that back from the inside back in there and i haven't finished peeling off the bottom of the uh drop off on this side so i got this side over here prepped well not really prepped but done the same thing but i actually opened it up at the roof because i'm not going to cut the quarter panel as if i was doing it for a roof because this car is getting a roof so i don't want to cut it so i want to lap my uh quarter panel in here i've cleaned out my gutter um this is another thing with people that bring their cars like this and they say it just needs quarter panels and they don't allow us to blast the car this right here is all untreated from the factory it don't have nothing on it to protect it and this is how they were from the factory if you allow us to blast the whole car after we get it cut down it would have been like this it would have went to blast all this would have been blasted this all would have been treated and painted with epoxy primer and it come back and we would sand where it's going to get welds or peel the tape off and i would epoxy primer uh, I would do epoxy primer on it tonight, but I might do this wheelhouse because it has a little rot down here. Uh, might do this wheelhouse too. <coughs> but, um, and the deck filler, so I'm not going to waste the, uh, the weld through primer just yet on this or any of the other areas. I would weld through primer this. I can do that now. Let's see. Let me find what I do with my gloves. I'll take a breather so Erin can look at the uh, chat and see what's going on. I'll, I'll let her have a few minutes since I talk a lot. It was just your dad hopping on board, your brother hopping on board saying he finally got internet hooked up at his new place and your dad said he was late because he was getting pizza and everybody's talking about their favorite toppings. What's yours? Uh, everything. <laughs> That's what Ken got. Supreme. He got he got a Philly cheese and a Supreme. With olives. Yeah, Ken, olives. Yeah, Gotta have olives. olives. Um, what am I looking for? Oh, well through. This well through primer's like gold. You can ask Charlie about that. And it's 30-something dollars a can. Uh, EL did say he's got a question. He says, I see a lot of people don't put the brace back in from the B-pillar down to the rocker. Do we need it? I see this 69 don't have one. The B-pillar down to the rocker the brace back from the b-pillar down to the rocker which one stick your hand through the camera and point at it eel <laughs> yeah the b-pillar down to the rocker Isn't this? i don't know what brace did you cut out last night that wasn't There's... wasn't on that side but was on this side oh we need yeah. clarification, Eel. I know there. 
No, that's on a convertible. There's a brace that goes in here on a convertible, but the only braces on any of the 67, 68, 69 Camaro, the only thing is a brace that's right here. That's a quarter window stiffener, which is this. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I don't know if that's what he and was talking And that about. right there, it welds right there. And usually they fall off. As you can see, it didn't even mess it up. It's supposed to be stitched right there. You can see the two little stitches of weld right there hanging because it it was like that and it fell off. The other side didn't even have one. But this is the quarter window stiffener. <coughs> and then the only other one is the one on the corner. There's There ain't no other um, bracing in there. Uh trying to think I, I don't know Charlie said he thinks that's what he's talking about uh, go into detail about the installation of the stiffeners yeah this I, I that's what might have happened on the other side they didn't put it in there because that side like I said that's why I hit the thing there was like three different I don't know what they had going on <laughs> but yeah the quarter window stiffener from the B pillar to the quarter panel but there ain't none to the rocker or anything like that except for this one right here and the quarter goes up underneath it but every camaro i've ever done the only other bracing is this one and the stiffener uh chevelles have a um they have some kind of a brace that comes in here and over to, and it gets like glued to the quarter panel or it might be GTO. I don't know, I'm lost. But anyways. He said it's about 12 inches long, two inches wide. I'll have to see that because I ain't never seen one ever. And I've cut down hundreds of Camaros <laughs> and built hundreds. And I've never seen one. Uh, I, know, I know the convertible has a brace, but I haven't never seen one on, on none of these. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a pro, but. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and prime this. I don't know why, just to show you where I do, I usually hit the spot down here, up, and then down this, which this is galvanized. Uh, but there, I would do the wheelhouse. I would do in the, in the gutter. I think he has gutters. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do them because these gutters look good. Uh, but I would do across here, down the uh, cell panel, um, my trunk gutter, tail panel, and the inside. Now, I'm going to, he's keeping these drop-offs, so I'm going to end up getting the uh, OSPO and cleaning all of it with the OSPO and painting it and all this before I actually put it together but like I say I was just going to do a quarter panel tonight and show y'all guys how I do quarter panels deck filler I would spray it but like I say if I'm not going to keep it I need to save this stuff <laughs> Charlie said the 1967 has a diagonal stiffener between the inner door jam down That's to the right. rocker. And Char and EL said yes. Yes, it's the 67. Yes. I know what you're talking about now when you, the 67. It comes right here. It actually, where this opening is, uh, is where it welds. It, it's, it welds to the quarter panel right here and it goes down. So yeah, I know about, I know about that one. I forgot about the 67 that has that that piece there that goes down so yeah it is and that's why that gaps there uh josh i'll look back but no i did not see that comment what i guess he put a comment about the motor but i didn't see it oh camshaft is camshaft not back shaft what yeah the, all, all i see josh not back yet it says finally got decent internet and then camshaft not back shaft lol hey daddy that's all i got josh so i guess he means it's not back yet could be because i ain't said nothing about no back shaft that I know. <laughs> anyways we're, uh, we're building camaros now galaxy's making me lose my hair 
Charlie did ask when you do the video on the court. Excuse you. That when you do the video on the quarter panel installation, if you could put the quarter panel stiffeners. Yes, uh, Charlie, I'll get you them quarter <laughs> You've been asking for years. I'll get you a, a Why video. Why are you slacking, Juby? Why are you slacking? <laughs> Well, I did one, but I didn't actually do it. I just <laughs> showed how to do it. So I will do a video on this car on doing the quarter window stiffeners and possibly these because I need better videos on it because I look horrible. I think I had my face shaved and it looked, I look 12 and I'm 43, 2, 3, two. somewhere. Um, but let's see, I'm going to go over here. I got quarter panels. Uh, now this quarter panel hopefully don't give me no issues because this is a premium quarter panel. The customer supplied. I do notice that it does have <coughs> uh, some rough area in here. It looks I like see that. looks like they might have worked it or something. There's some either some sand marks or some tooling marks. They might have worked the tooling. Uh, can't really get it in the camera guys i can't it's tell a little... but it's got some swirls in it it looked kind of funny i was like man this thing here's crop might be bad so i don't know yet <laughs> we're gonna try but it is a premium quarter panel and <coughs> we're gonna put it on there uh, i'm not gonna go into prepping all of it just yet i will get the um hole punch I'm starting to talk, I guess because I'm talking so much, yeah. I ain't quite over all of it. NorCal says, would you install a new trunk floor first or the quarter panels on a convertible? We build the whole floor first before we do anything. Um, if this car would have been getting a uh, trunk floor, it's like we won't we won't take one in that's only getting trunk floor or anything like that it's just it's not really feasible to do uh because you really need to remove tail panel and all that stuff so to be able to do a trunk floor or a back half car the only way we'll do a back half car is if you do inner outer wheelhouses tail panel trunk floor drop offs um and inner cross brace possibly trunk gutters maybe not but possible so for us to take in a back half car it would be quarter panel inner outer wheelhouse trunk drop off um rear floor tail panel cross brace and all the jack bracket uh yeah the um the the uh bumper brackets um, jack brackets or spare tire bracket um, basically that stuff Hanson and Son garage is on and said hello hi so, hi uh, this is a hole punch and I'm probably going to walk around the other side and come over there so. Wes agreed and said that his 69 Camaro did not have that yeah, it's so it's a, just on the it's 67? Just the 67 and so uh usually that hole was already there but i usually put a couple because these this gets um plug welded because of it keeping the rockers and all that so i had to be able to attach it so i just put a couple down through there and then put two on the top um then I would prep all this, prep the inside, prep this uh, down through here. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Um, if you're at home doing it, you'll, you'll want to do plug welds all the way around everything. So you would just go around all of it uh, down through here, down your... Uh, trunk gutter area around plug wells so 
this one we're gonna spot weld so i'm not gonna do all that but down in here i can't spot weld because like i say it's keeping the gutter so i'll put a couple holes in this and when it's on the car i'll come in and i'll reach in and i'll weld these holes up and clean it the best i can it gets the seam sealer on it anyway so you won't really see it but i like to clean it up and make it look nice so if you look down in there you don't see a, a bunch of crap and you have to remember that that brace from the back side is right here so there really ain't no need in putting a hole right here because you need to uh plug weld or weld that to this so i try to come back about two inches or so and usually it, it ends up landing right at the end of it and i weld all three pieces together so got some holes in it when i lay it up in there i'll be able to uh weld them now i take my hammer let me get my safety glasses on probably put, put my hat on too hope it's time to go that's the end of the show oh my. uh put my safety glasses on i don't, don't want nothing in my hair my glasses look about like my uh, gloves do. They're pretty, Janky. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're pretty, pretty bad. Um, but one of the things I like to do before I put the quarter panel up there so that I don't fight trying to push my quarter panel forward to close a door gap, I always like to hammer this flange back because this is generally, when it goes into the gutter, that's generally what keeps the quarter panel from sliding forward along with the wheelhouse being as though this didn't get wheelhouses i really can't do anything to move my wheelhouses to help me compensate for it uh at this point if i was doing it but when i get ready to build the car i'm going to cut these out put new ones in and i don't clamp i i don't weld them yet i just stick them up here clamp them Usually I like to clamp them or either screw from the inside. That way I can get to the screws while the quarter panel is on it. That way I don't have to take the quarter panel off if there's an issue with it. I can just unscrew it and I can try to get in there and hammer the wheelhouse around and get it seated and fit in there better. <laughs> and also when you shut the door and your door gap's not good, typically on the Camaro, it's usually the gap at the top that you have an issue with so in order to put the monkey on a stick like i did in one of my videos and push the quarter panel up whenever you push the quarter panel up it's just wanting to slide up on this and that's pulling the quarter panel back because of the angle of this and it trying to ride up this it actually pulls the quarter panel up and around so if you hammer that edge down it'll let it go forward and when you go when you get ready to weld it you can always reach in there if it's off with a little chisel and hammer it back down and you ain't gotta fold it a lot i mean just a little bit Usually on them, I can't get in here to weld this, so I usually take my hole punch and I'll go ahead and do it since I don't know if it's going to keep these or not, but you can come over here <coughs> where it's light. Um, right in here, I can't get in here to spot weld this with our spot welder. You at home won't be able to do the same thing because you don't have a spot welder. I mean, some of you might. You might. <laughs> um, but I usually put two holes on the back side of this. 
That way, when the quarter panel's on, you can lay in here and you can weld them two holes there and grind them. You can't weld that side. So then I come around on my quarter panel and I put two holes in my quarter panel on this side because you can lay right here and weld these two with the quarter panel on and you can't hardly get these two. So you can get these two from this side, them two from that side, and it gets you on the front and the back. <coughs> I, sometimes I work this lip down or either I grind my deck filler to this width. They look pretty good as being as though this is factory. Um, usually the deck filler here is actually the deck filler um, that the guy brought. And these are pretty small. I don't know what this is. Luddy Chevy Warehouse. I have never heard of it. Mm. Um, but sometimes this flange is way bigger and it ends up hitting and you can't get this down to get all this to profile right. But <clears throat> I want to see how it, I want to look at the profile. It looks pretty close to the same profile, so this might be a good deck filler. I've, I've never used it. But I'm going to try and keep the original if the customer wants to because it looks good. Uh, I'll go ahead and since that's on there, I can't use my piece, but go ahead and I'm trying to make sure that I'm, I'm drilling the right side. So put two holes. All right, bigger one. So I have two holes to weld, even though I still got to take this quarter panel back off. Um, sometimes, most of the time, I don't know what I do with my hammer right here. I like to check the end of the tail panel and I sometimes I just hammer it down a little bit so that when it meets up with that part, it don't hold it off. So if you got two parts in like this and they're touching, it's gonna leave a gap. So if you make the two flanges fold away from each other and when they touch and then you reach in there and clamp it, it's gonna pull that tighter and that over. So and I don't bend it a lot. Like I say, it's gonna go on and it's gonna come back off. So I'll be able to check all this uh while it's on there and then when i take it back off and if you're doing a car and you got you're replacing the wheelhouses you're going to have to put the fit the quarter panel up there make sure it works lock the wheelhouse back down take the quarter panel off weld the wheelhouse weld the drop off put the quarter panel back on same thing here uh gonna fit it up get it fitting right make sure it's all right i might put a couple screws in it to mark where it needs to go when I reinstall it. And I can put them screws back in that same hole and it should be pretty close when I throw the doors on, throw the deck lid on. Uh, so we'll try and get this up here. I guess y'all gonna see me struggle. Josh said the Galaxy engine is nearing completion. We have been working on it and all the machine work is complete and the engine is together, just waiting on the camshaft to return. Wow. So, let's see if uh, how well this thing goes on. I'm trying to make sure I've done the general everything that I do. What's the difference between a premium panel and a, and a non-premium? Um, the non-premium, usually the area right here where the tail panel is takes a lot more work. Um, <coughs> the actual corner of over here this radius right here on the non-premium is not that great 
the non-premium the radius comes up and you see how it curves back that way if you look at the deck lid the deck lid curves and curves back so he was just looking at the camera did you see me pointing at the yeah all right so the deck lid curves and goes in and then back around the non-premium usually just goes straight over so it comes around and as soon as it reaches the highest point it goes straight over and you have to work that corner usually have to hammer all this back uh the premium ones i haven't really ever had too much of an issue in the area with the premium i don't know how many they've run uh when they get new dies they the parts come out great for a while and then depending on how many of them they run they start getting back worn out and they don't work as great uh but far as i know i haven't had an issue and i prefer the premium over the uh <coughs> non-premium the lines on that so yeah. what was that uh, the uh, dots falling the out also these uh the louvers are actually more pronounced on the premium i don't know if you can see it in the video but oh, that's good they, they, they're a lot sharper in the premium than they are uh also but the tell... area right here where the door is this curve actually is better on the premium as well used to i'd have to split it right here pull that over to the door weld it up sometimes it'd be tall and i'd have to cut right through here lay that back down uh but these usually work i guess we'll find out here in a second <laughs> hopefully this one ain't bad and i just called a, myself a liar <laughs> if i can get it on here paradise is in the house hey hey let me uh let me go ahead and get some, some tools over here that i know i'll need because i do it a lot Charlie oh. said Luddy's is near Pittsburgh and almost all of his uh, steel cut. Oh, oh, we're back. They're an AMD dealer. So that I'm could, just messing with you. That could be an AMD part that they've could removed be. the sticker on and put theirs on. I was just messing with Luddy's. I, I like the name. I'm going to have to check them out because yeah. they might have parts that we need. All right putting this on do it by myself all the time so uh, I'll show you how, how I do it and I'm gonna go ahead and get some parts some stuff tools over here that I know I'll need possibly I've, I think I've done it enough times to know what I need because <laughs> um, I don't want to get the quarter panel up here and then have to walk away to get a tool and risk it falling I get a clamp at least one clamp Chuck's Garage said that this is exactly the video he needed. He appreciates it and Who? says thanks. Chuck's Garage. Oh, Chuck, we're going to have to cut it short. <laughs> we're done. You can buy the second half for $19.95. <laughs> Just send it to my cash app. Yeah, $19.95, you can buy the second half. So, like I said, putting the quarter panel on, I don't want to drop it. I don't want to turn around and go get a part. So I usually keep one clamp and I usually clamp it right here if I'm going to walk away. So I'm going to leave that up here. Uh, going to need a screwdriver. Screwdriver is for getting pieces, the corners up under here, up in here, any place that I got to slide or work two pieces. I keep a screwdriver on standby where I can reach it. And then I keep a big pry bar or a big flathead screwdriver <coughs> because when you put the quarter panel up here to get the quarter panel uh -oh. to get the quarter panel up under this brace right here you're going to have to stick this in there and pry it up and let it pop over the lip i'm echoing it'll pop over the lip and then you can tap it and the quarter panel will slip right in so i'm going to put that right here because i know i need it there screwdrivers there clamp in case I got to walk away and let's see how this thing goes um, the way I like to do it is I ain't done this in a while uh, I like to start high uh, over the wheelhouse and get my the quarter panel kind of lean 
back. I like to get this part in first, so I just work it over, push it up in there. Looks like it's good. So now I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna see what I got. Uh, make sure that my tail panel is going in between them two. This part's gonna go over this. <coughs> this part needs to go under. So I'm gonna start it up under it. Um, and then this part right here is gonna go up under the... Uh, so right there. Making sure. Looking a little rough here. All right, there, this is it. It's there. And if I hit on it, I usually hit on the spot where the bumper bracket is because that's pretty strong right there and you ain't gonna dent the panel. But it, it's, I think it's close enough and workable right now. My gap's closed here, that's there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a clamp on here even though I'm gonna kinda have my hand on it. Don't want it to fall. Um, and I'm gonna check this. My wheelhouse is, is off. Popped it down. Check right here, it's there. And exactly what I said, it's hitting right there. So I'm gonna reach under here, push up on it. Said I was, y'all watch me struggle here. All right, it's under. And it's there. I'm pretty close to the end of the rocker. Uh, if I need, I can shift it back a little. Um, but good there, good there. Oh, this is good. This is pretty close. Let me check and see how the door goes. Um, check the door gap. Door gap looks a little tight at the bottom. Like I said, it needs to go back. Top looks pretty decent. So my bottom needs to go back, but I'm not going to work on getting the bottom back just yet because the back end might raise up and when the back end raises up, it's gonna pull that bottom down. Um, this here's fitting good, it's, it's up off of it, so I do have room to shift forward. Take my clamp off. Uh, there, and like I say, the gap's pretty good at the top. The bottom, um, not so good. It's workable though. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back here and kind of work this over. I'm gonna grab me two clamps to put on the deck pillar. Coco said, don't make it look too easy. Did I do that? Did I make it look too easy? <laughs> Let me find another pair of vice grips. Yeah, Wes said that that was, that looked way too easy. I'm sorry. All right, so when I clamp the deck filler, I like to get these with the big jaw, the big opening, because of, if you remember on the quarter panel, it had that flange that kicked out. You like to have room for it. So I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna reach in here and I'm gonna try and Deck filler's a little high. I should, but looks like this. Ah, that was pretty tight. I'll unloosen it a little bit. I don't like to say I just stuck this thing up on here. Um. Now I'm gonna get some other, some more clamps. Charlie said he's gonna have to hit the rewind button to see how he got it in the dripper all so dang easy. That was the, that was the easy part. All right, it's <laughs> yeah. basically up there. My wheelhouse is fitting great. Um, I wish I was keeping these wheelhouses, uh, but it, it's, it's pretty much, it's fitting good. All on the drop off, all of it's nice to it. 
everything let's see how the deck lid goes i just threw the deck lid up here um your dad said he could do that uh so let's see what the deck lid looks like ah what a pro deck, deck lid gap looks uh pretty good but when i pull it over it's going to tighten up so my deck lid is going to have to shift but it is kind of even it's a little close in the corner and like I say, you can see the deck fillers high. Uh, need to work the this. Uh, either I can work my um, deck lid up, or I can cut these brackets loose and move it. I'll show you how to work it. Let me get this because I want to see if I can. I'm trying to get the. Uh, deck filler up a little bit i mean the deck the i'm probably going to have to when i take when i take the deck filler off or when i take the quarter back off i can see it's rubbing right here so i'm going to have to cut that away and i ain't worried about none of this as long as it's lapping because i always stitch about from find a something i can point with Instead of my big finger. Mm, hot dog fingers. Uh, so usually I put a stitch about an eighth of an inch down from the top and then I stitch it down and over and then I just sand it. So, and then I do the same thing in the corners. I stitch them. Let me get some, uh, some more. You know all those tools he needed so he wouldn't have to walk away? <laughs> yeah, all those. This is why Jimmy quit wearing a Fitbit because he walked 47 miles a day. Well, Juby's building four cars in the shop right now. So all Juby's clamps are not on his cart. Yeah, see his, his cart's a little naked. He's got well, clamps from one there, wall to the next. There's those, but I'm building the dart in the middle here. Yep, there's the I'm dart. I'm building the Alpha up there in the corner. I'm building this Camaro, and I was building the um, Galaxy, but the Galaxy's not here. So I am building the Alpha, the dart, and this. So that's where all my stuff is. I like he to never use, spreads himself too thin, guys. I like to use vice grips, and I do them in the corners. And as you can see, it pretty much come over. And I start, usually I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. That way I can pull this in and out and profile it. So like right now it's a little bit sticking out. So I'm just gonna tap on it with the clamps on it. And I'm rubber hammer flat and trying to stay on the edge, not in here, dinging it. Uh, Sandy John, John, he said, uh, you want me to come up there and help you? Unreal. So the way this point here is, is a little high on here. So I'm gonna clamp up at the top, pull the quarter down, and then I'm gonna clamp down here, and then I'm gonna release the top one. That way I can get the, the quarter panel down. So. What I'm gonna start with right now is right here in this corner. And see how I pulled that corner over and tap it over a little bit. Now I'm gonna come back down here and pull this back. So I got my clamp low right in here. And I'm gonna I might have my clamp a little too tight. I do uh, tend to do that sometimes. Loosen it up a little bit. Still kind of tight. Just enough to sort of slip. And get it. And now this up here is in. So I'm going to undo it and just pull it out a little bit, work, working my way up. 
clamp in the middle. And I usually try to get all this profiling flush with it up to this corner. I don't really pay attention to trying to get it lined up with this corner because usually this corner has got a slit in it. If it don't, I would put one in it. That way, now I can stick a screwdriver in here and I can bend that tab out or I can reach in here with my hand like that and work it out. And it gets out there to where it's profiling. And so I'm gonna reach in there, push it, clamp it. And now it's smooth. Uh, That's beautiful. Down through here, looks good. I got a little, a little boo-boo right in there, but I'm gonna plug weld that. I'm gonna clean it up and plug weld it. So now that I've got that working, it's good. My, my gap down through here looks good. When I pull my quarter over, if I had a, another clamp, I clamp in this corner and that's good. Now you can see in this quarter panel, it has a little, little knot right there. So when I take the quarter panel back off, uh, before I do, I'm gonna mark it, which I don't have a, a marker over here, but I'm gonna mark it right there, and then I'm gonna hammer that a little bit and straighten that up so that when I put it back on, it looks nice and even down through there. Uh, I can tell I'm in the right spot because my bumper hole is dead where it needs to be. So right there, if you look at the bumper mount, it is exactly where it's supposed to be. Now I'm gonna shut the trunk <coughs> and see what I'm looking like. Gap looks even, and like I said, that's a, that's a perfect gap. Um, the end right here, where I said that slit is, don't worry about it, or either put one in it, that way you can work that piece out. As you can see, it dives in. What I'm gonna do is slit that right there, on down and then i'll hammer that over and then i'll weld that and i'll fix it now if my uh if my trunk gap when i do the other side should be about the same because this is telling me that everything's straight because my deck lid gap is good my gap down my quarter panel is good if the other one goes on and works out uh i'll work it um I've said it before, people always talk about welding on the edge of the uh, deck lid or uh, versus cutting. Me, I always work on my quarter panel. If I got a big gap right here and I'm touching down here, kind of like I'm touching right now, if this gap was bigger, I would do my little trick and hook in here, it's on my YouTube. Uh, I hook it in there, which I can just demonstrate it right now. Um, and I pull the quarter panel over more, closing this more <coughs> to get this gap closed up. Because it's a whole lot easier when this gap gets closed, it's a whole lot easier to cut down here, move this back, and butt weld two pieces that are together than it is to try and slice this, lay this over, and fill that big gap. So what you wanna do is work this thing all the way over as hard as you can to make this gap fit good and then trim down here. I'll show how I do that with the, uh, if, my, if my quarter panel don't fit. We're at 35%, hon. Yeah, so. Uh, I use one of these, I've talked about it. I've had it for a while. As you can see, it's broke, but these hooks are perfect for near about everything on working on a car body work wise uh these hooks and the reason i like them is, let me see wes said he'd break out the welder if his fit that good on the first try <laughs> bring it to me i'll show you how to do it <clears throat> so this is the standard hook if you take this hook if you can get it in there which I can't. Uh, if you happen to get it in there and it's in there, it's gonna be like that. So when you start pulling on it, this little 
point right there it's going to be putting a dent right there so when you start tightening it and you're pulling on it it's going to put a dent because that thing only has one way to lay now if that hook was turned it might work but it would probably mess up anyways don't use these find you one with this style hooks and preferably small you don't need Aaron's <laughs> Uh, preferably with the small end they do have them with bigger ones so they don't fit in a lot of the holes sometimes so we got this in if I hook it in there see how it lays lays against, lays against the quarter panel and plus my strap is there protecting it so that thing don't leave no mark in it that up there I get the two finger clamps and I hook in the bolt hole, bumper spot. I come up over and then I like to clamp it through. Generally when I'm doing this, there ain't no uh, trunk gutters because I do the trunk gutters last after I get this, the uh, quarter panel up. Well, actually, I got it flipped over wrong because I want to get only on the quarter panel and I don't want to mess it up. So, hook it right there. And then I hook in there and I bring this over. And usually it don't take much. I just hook it on the end of the bumper bracket and put a little tension on it. I come in here, I undo all my clamps <coughs> and then I start racking it. As I pull it, I get my rubber hammer and I start tapping on this. Bump on this top edge right here, not on the panel, not on this side. Kind of on the hump there where it's strong and it'll loosen stuff up. And then let it down and I look and I'm like, ah, oh, it's looking pretty good. Rack it some more, shut it down, get my gap good. Don't worry about that. Take it off. I sink a screw in it. Now, I don't put I don't put a screw out here because you can see this is away from it. I get a clamp like this, and I can pull that over to it. So it's good. So now if I put a screw in here and I let go of my clamps and everything, the quarter panel is still going to shift because when I clamp that, you notice how that went in. If I let it off and see how it came back out. So if I clamp it, that closes that. I put a screw there and then I come on the inside and I clamp in that corner on the inside and then I start clamping around before I remove my strap. So now I've got it screwed and I've got it clamped on the inside. I just come in and undo my clamp, undo that. Like I say, this is good. Uh, the quarter's actually gonna go back on exactly where it's at with the wheelhouse. So I'm pretty confident that the other side will work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a screw out here so when I put this thing back together and I sink that screw in, I know this thing is back in the spot that I had. And I also like to mark right here where this is. That way when I put the quarter pa panel back on and I see that thing's right there, I can start clamping this and working it around. If I see it move, then I know I'm, I'm going in the wrong direction. So it's there, gap's good. I say weld, weld it up. Um, like I said, I, I could be down here. The way I work, I'll go ahead and do it while we're here. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. Find my, my, my screwdriver. That's what my son calls them. My doodad. So, tight at the bottom. One thing that I didn't mention in the beginning 
is before you're fitting a quarter panel and all that, you actually want to look at the door gap and make sure your door gap, your door is level. Just so happens to be this one's level. So what I'm going to do to get this where I need is I'm going to mark this in the front so that I can tell how far I move back. And the way I'm going to move it back uh, is I'm going to put a little pressure here. I'm going to pull the back right here. And you see how it moved back from the mark? I'm not sure if you can see it, but you can see. If I shoot a screw in it right now, it's not in a good spot. So I'm going to push a little pressure right here, keeping it close. I'm going to grab the back right here, and I'm going to pull it. And you see how it moved back? So I'm going to sit... I'm gonna see if I can get it back a little more and get me a screw. And I'm gonna pop it in there. And you can see the mark. I moved it back about an eighth of an inch just by doing that. And pop that back in. That looks good. Not worried about that popping out. Let's see what the door looks. That's pretty much, could use a little bit more, but it, it's getting there. You get the idea. I think we're running out of battery, so we'll hop over here. But that's all you gotta do. Um, sorry I made it look so easy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I will do the quarter window pieces for Charlie. I'll make sure I get that. I wish I could go ahead and weld this thing up. Cause this is like rework but anyways we'll go sit down talk answer questions because it's about time to go getting there getting there maybe, maybe, maybe that will help some people out uh, let's see do you think it's a good idea to load the door, guts, regulators, glass, etc., into the door for weight to make sure your door edge doesn't drop? Usually, <coughs> the door edge does drop, but all I do is before I put the door stuff in there, I always lift the door up like an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch higher in the back then when all the stuff's in it it'll generally settle down it ain't going to change the it ain't going to as long as your gap's the same it ain't going to change the gap i wouldn't fight with it personally i would just upon putting it back together after paint and body work i would put the door shell on there with it adjusted up a little bit that way when it goes on and the weight's in it it'll sink down your dad says a big hammer and a small mine make a lot of racket. God, um, I got, <laughs> got to be more careful. He's pulling at your strings today. He's pulling at my strings. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here. Uh, Wes, I agree. I know he went through it really quickly, but it, it, it's nice for him to be here giving you all the tips. And uh, We've got a couple of guys that have watched many and many of the Juby videos and had many a conversation with him on how to do this, that, and the other. And then, you know, a month into the build, they call and they're like, Can I just bring it to you anyway? <laughs> yeah. Now, I think there was one night I was going to do a quarter panels. It was on that, that Camaro that came that had the two different quarter panels mm -hmm. and all that. And I was actually going to do a video that night of those quarter panels, putting those quarter panels on. And we started doing something else and we didn't do the quarter panel. It was an absolute nightmare. I have never had a Camaro come in here that whooped my butt like that one did. I was about two seconds from tearing the quarter panel off and telling the guy he can have the, the quarter panels back that we have to buy some good quarter panels. I don't know where he got the quarter panels from, they, and they were two different ones, and I had never seen them ever before. They were horrible. I think somebody probably snapped them out of their backyard with like some um, <laughs> gopher wood or something. I, 
It, it was ridiculous. I made them. <laughs> yeah. It, it took me. So where bad. you just seen me put a quarter panel on in 20 minutes. It, if you took out all the talking and all that and me, if I just went over there and put that quarter panel on, I could have probably did it in about five minutes, ten minutes. That's why I can build a complete Camaro in eight days. I've done it enough, I know what happens and I know exactly if I see a problem, I know what to do to fix it. But that Camaro that was in here, I was on one quarter panel for a day and a half. Yeah. One quarter panel, off, on, off, on, fit, pull, bang. It was horrible, but I didn't let it whoop me. The car left with those quarter panels on it and it was good. It wasn't a 100% like that one just went on. That's a premium quarter panel. And that's that's spoken about up front. If you purchase your own parts, we highly recommend talking to us about which parts to buy because some there are multiple vendors. And some vendors are great and some vendors are not. <coughs> some of these repops are just horrendous to work with. And we also tell you that if you're dead set that you're bringing me X part whatever from Joe Blow down the road, we're gonna charge you extra because, like Juby said, he's gonna be spending a day and a half on a part that with a premium AMD quarter panel took 20 minutes. Yeah, so you gotta pay for that and that's that's what you pe get. <laughs> when people bring their car to us, we always, if they bring parts supplied, we charge 20% on top of the parts supplied. And they're like, why are you charging me 20% on my, on my parts that I got? Well, we don't know where you got them from. Mm -hmm. Well, I got them all at AMD. Oh, well, we got them from y'all. We don't we're, buy We're all not AMD. AMD. We don't buy just AMD. I know what fits. I know what don't fit. I know which ones to buy that's going to make the job go faster and, and equal out to make us money because if we quote a, a quarter panel at... I think it's eight hundred dollars to install a quarter panel or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Close. <laughs> um, eight hundred dollars to install a quarter panel, prep and all that stuff. If I'm spending me being the shop foreman and my pay rate out here for a day, that, a day and a half, not and that's technically two days because yeah. we work ten hour days. Right. I put ten hours in it and then five hours the next day that's 15 hours at my pay doing a quarter panel even, we can't even my lowest builder has blown the budget at a day and a half and if we do that every single day craig's gonna start beating up on me and juby <laughs> so like and even if they bought amd premium quarter panels we had this guy bring in his car with premium quarter panels, but they had been sitting on a shelf for two years, got moved and beat and banged, and now you've got to do some repair work on them. Remember the one I'm talking about, Mr. Bell? Both of them were dented when they came out. The what? The Chevelle convertible quarter panels. Oh yeah, the, the quarter panels, yeah. So that kind of works into that additional charge because now that you brought them and you didn't notice they were damaged, I can't take them back to AMD because I didn't buy them. But now I've got to fix them before I put them on your car. Well, Juby does. <laughs> Either way. Radiator core. Possibly, Go-Go. Um, usually on all the front sheet metal, on any of it that, that I've installed, I usually go in there and drill all the holes out a little bit bigger or, or eat them out so that everything it can move more freely. And it's usually that. That one? No. Sorry. Where'd it go? Uh, does Sorry. the quarter get yeah. welded to the rocker behind the door? Uh, does the quarter get welded to the rocker behind the door? Yeah. When it shuts, I, I put holes in there and I, I plug weld that. And then where it goes up the pillar, it, it gets welded. <coughs> um, and then down inside the holes that I punched in it, it'll get welded in there and then it'll it'll continue on around the wheelhouse. Let's see. Uh, great show. Serious radiator. I can check with my guy who sells a lot of Camaro parts. Yeah, Charlie, Go-Go, Go-Go been having an issue with his, his fenders and stuff, so. 
Um, Aaron, where did you order weather strip and need some for truck and CUDA? Um, I would get uh, steel rubber products. I would check with them first. Great people, great customer support. I called them about the Galaxy. They're sponsoring it. They had. They said we can send you all the stuff that we have right now or we can keep it on standby in a box and when everything comes in we can send it out whichever way you need it tell them to hold it and it was like two weeks later she's like i'm sending the box we're like oh okay so they're just gonna send what they got she sent the box and we got everything and then she said if we needed anything else to call them great service excellent product i i like everything i mean they had the brake pedal the emergency brake pedal the gas pedal the rubber pieces for them yeah. they had all the body plugs all the little plugs for like the the dash bumpers for the uh glove box the hood bumpers the trunk uh gutter weather stripping i mean they had it all windshield rubber and they said if they don't have it listed if you can cut a, a section of the old <clears throat> to keep your old cut a section of the old so that they can send the see the profile of it and you can email it to them and they say they pretty much probably they have it, match it. <laughs> and they can <laughs> match it and send you what it. you yeah. need yeah gogo -Go says he uses steel rubber as well and that's a great product and company i agree yeah I mean, she was super sweet she said i think i sent you everything but if you find that i missed anything just <coughs> let me know because i want this build to go great for the customer we want to make sure that he's getting everything that he needs and i was like man that's awesome because sometimes they'll send you this is what you get and they kind of wipe their hands of it but she she's been super awesome through the whole thing just if, if you need anything else let me know and if you want some more stickers let me know and like i've said i love stickers <laughs> yeah so i'm getting thanks up by the i know i see them on your face oh, and in no. your eyes so but anyways we're gonna call it quits because it's probably about to die. Let me check. Uh, yep, it's like 16 percent, and it usually dies right around now. And it's been 30 minutes over, and we actually started on time. Uh, but I guess we'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thank uh, you so much for joining us again on another wonderful Tuesday episode of Tech Talk Tuesday. I think Juvie did pretty fantastic tonight, guys. Yeah, maybe. I don't think I'll have any more on that car because I'm trying to get that car done by by the end of the week. Yeah, so it I've may got, very well be gone by Tuesday. I've got two days. I got tomorrow and Friday, or t Wednesday and Thursday, to knock that one out. I got to do inner fenders on the the Cuda and weld out the floor, and that one will be going this week too. So I'm planning on knocking those two cars out between tomorrow and. Tuesday. Yeah, and fingers crossed Thursday. we can get the Alpha out of here too. At yeah, some and point. I got a, I got a couple <laughs> little spots. Reason I haven't finished it is he comes and he's like, oh, I got this. I want to fit this, and we're steadily fitting and doing stuff. And I'm like, man, it's the body work. It's the body man's job. <laughs> but we take care of Mark. Yeah. Mark takes care of us. So it, it's sitting here waiting on his next little thing to come in and say, which Craig went and picked up some parts for. But anyways. We love, I love you, guys. you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell. Tell everybody because I get tired of getting the comments on Facebook about uh, whatever, who are you, blah, blah, blah. And I get tired of having to tell them. You see that number? Everybody right there knows you, and that's all that matters. <laughs> well, when they go on there and they start commenting and stuff, and I try not to be one of those people that says, oh, well, you can, I did this, I did this, I did that. Usually if I say I did this, I did that, I also put a link and show you where you can go see my stuff. You can go see, it ain't just a resume, magazines, my work. Uh, one guy, I said that I was um, probably one of the best in, in the country, if not the best. Uh, He's he's choo like your 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 confidence level is is crazy. Yes, my confidence level is crazy. But it's earned. Yeah, and do I 100% think that I am the best? No, I'm pretty sure there is somebody out there 
that can do it better than I can. In fact, I know there are. And There's just people that's got to apply and build their confidence up to be able to do this stuff. I, 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 I'm cocky on there, but I also have stuff to prove what I do and how I do it. Yeah. So it's not that he's just saying, I'm, I'm really not badass. To... No, he's just saying, hey, look, like when he was had the Camaro shell listed, I know we're going over, but he was kind of, like you said, a resume. It's kind of like, hey, I'm asking this because here's my background. This is why I'm, I can promise you that you're getting a good quality product, a good build, because I've done this, 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 and this. It's not just going, I'm awesome. It's proven yeah. to you that if you want a phenomenal 69 Camaro shell, this is why I'm the guy to go to. That's all. Yeah. I don't, I ain't on there being cocky and saying that or trying to down anybody about anything. I don't, I'm not that type of guy. I believe that Gogo can do just as good a job as I do. I believe Charlie can do it. Everybody on the show has, has the talent. They're here, they're learning. That tells me something about you guys that you're here, you want to learn, and I'm pretty sure that once you get doing it, if you did it as much as me, you'd be just as good as I am. I am not nobody, and I don't, I don't go online saying when somebody tries to say something, well, you ain't right, I, I've been doing this, blah, 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 <laughs> you're wrong. Like I said about the brace earlier, I was it's like, I, I done did a lot of them, and then what did I do? I backtracked because I did remember that the 67 does have well, one. Well, they helped you remember, yeah. and that's that's what it's all about. Is he's he's always willing to learn. Y'all come and watch the videos because y'all are all willing to continue to learn. It's, it's never there's never a point where you got to be like, I know it all. I'm the best, or doesn't matter what you say. I got this. No, just keep yeah. on learning. But you can also be proud of yourself for what you have accomplished and I I love his work. I love his confidence. I think he he can toot his horn all he wants to and if, y'all, if whoever don't like it, oh well. Go, go toot your horn somewhere else. Call Dinocorn. <laughs> uh, I just I I don't like the people that had to bite my tongue a lot cuz I don't like the people that go on there and they like to make smart remarks about stuff when they want to get a rise out of it though. Yeah. That's that's the thing. I mean, it's like not having the price of the car. They're like, what's the price? And I strictly put in there, call the shop or email for the price. I'm not going to put the price all on there because I don't tell you the price of what this man's paying to have this car done. I don't tell you the price of what this man. So I'm not going to put a price on something that somebody there might buy and then somebody go hounding at them. Oh, you're paying that amount for that car, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're an idiot. There's there, always it's that un, one. It's unique to the customer anyway, because what if this customer wants an RS and this customer doesn't want mini tub? Well, there you go. That's two different prices. They're both getting a 69 shell, but they're not the same price because it's not the same build. And so you can't put a price on it until you find the the right guy for the car. Then they tell you what they want. Then you come up with a price. And, That's how and it like works. I told her and I told the ones on there that the person that's got the money that is wanting that car and going to buy it, they're going to follow the directions and they're going to email or they're going to call. If they put in there, what's the price, and I don't answer, they'll find then, a way to get then, in touch. Then if they really want the car, they'll go back and read and be like, oh, it says call right yeah. here. And they're going to do that. And the right person that wants it that's got the money, not the tire kicker out there, this, well, well, what's the price? You can't tell me the price, blah, blah, blah. And that's not how business works. We like to keep a, a, a record of it through emails so that if anything ever happens, we've got a record of what transactions happened, when they happened. What was agreed to, what was what were the details of your bill, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, we're, <laughs> we're leaving this time because this thing's probably going to cut out. Love you guys, and I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Thank you for letting us vent. Oh, and Scott jumped in and wants oh. to say hey to you, Scott. Yeah, what's I hope up, you're Scott? having a great time in the Philippines. Oh, it's blinking. All yeah. right, guys, love you bunches. Uh, Uh-oh, one more. Let's see. Do you build your own body jigs? Yes. For the Camaros. Um, outside company? No. Uh, we build them here. But we don't sell them. Yeah, unfortunately, we that's, don't. That's our secret sauce. <laughs> so, but anyways, love you guys especially everybody that's on here. Um, yep. built, yeah, built-in house. You're right, Scott. Thanks, Scott. I hope you have a uh, great vacation. I don't know when you'll be back. 
No, but you look like you have fun. Stay safe. Keep posting the pictures. I love seeing the pictures. Yeah. So we'll see you guys. Love you.